Donor Talk Show. Hey, I have a mom story for you. Ah, All right, who's calling? My name is Amber. Amber, we get a girl to call about a mom. Yes, and funnily enough, my story is actually going to be about my dad. Oh, well, that's cool. Well, <laughs> so let me preface it by saying I love my mom, and she did the best she could. Cool, that's how I feel. There you go. But my dad raised me, and to the point I would get him Mother's Day and Father's Day cards. Nice. <laughs> Damn, double time. Yes. <laughs> Where are you from, Amber? Florida. I actually live right down the road from Hempshawn. Oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, wow. So you're... Uh, Still live up there, so let's hear your, your your dad mom story. So, my mom and dad got divorced when I was really young, and I bounced back and forth for a little bit. But my dad, when I was, I don't know, it was like probably 12, he threw a big party for me, and there was alcohol and weed and all kind of. There was like a van with a shaggy carpet, and there was things that definitely shouldn't have happened <laughs> around a twelve-year-old. How, how? What year was? <laughs> what year were you then, Amber? Not to dig you too bad. What decade was that? Uh, I was born in the eighties. Okay, so this was in the nineties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was a time to do that. Well, I was wondering yeah. about the shag carpet and the van. That was an old van, man, from the nineties. It might have been my old best. van. I got the best of all of it. I got the old school, and I got I got to enjoy everything before all the pictures got put on the internet, and it was all. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a that's a line that cro that all of us love to the past, right? <laughs> oh, I'm so thankful. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, because when I was yeah, go, I finished your story. So in, <laughs> in the nineties. Uh, both best of both worlds. Your dad now is taking over when you're 12, right? Yeah, he raised me uh, pretty much from the time I was eight until, I mean, he's been my rock for many, many years. Awesome. He, yeah. What's his name? His name is Andy. He uh, he actually passed away last year. Oh. Yeah, but he was the coolest dad. Like. <laughs> That's hey, listen to have the a coolest mom dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and there's a lot of mom dads out there, and we're not meaning to ditch on those guys either because, right. you know, listen, I, I think I was a, a, a good, you know, we got a divorce, my, you know, girl and I got divorced, but we uh, still remain family. Like the right. kids are the most important, and we're still friends. She works for the company still, you know, That's and awesome. we've tried to get back together several times, but, you know, once you figure out I'm an asshole, it's kind of hard to take that back. <laughs> it's kind of like Bill Burr, you know. Once you fucking figure it out, you know, it's kind of hard to give in. So I get it. I can't say anything. I'm the same way. Yeah, yeah. So I did. Hey, listen, my kids, um, I love them, and I've done the best I could. And, and I appreciate what you say about your mom because my mom was crazy. And uh, yeah. since you gave me a good dad story, I'll just give you a short one. We. My uh -huh. mom feeding us was a, a chore. We usually only ate once a day, and then we'd have to sneak around and try and pick up stuff from here and there. But one night she was cooking, and she got mad. She she's uh, what do they call? Um, well, she's probably schizophrenic and stuff. But she'd have like bipolar. It is well, she super bipolar because she'd be cooking and all talking, and whenever she got really nice, is when I'd get scared. Right. Okay. Because <laughs> I knew something was gonna happen. So one time we're this is one well I'll tell you the first one because uh, she we didn't have a stepdad yet okay she just beat up my dad and we're they're divorced and she's cooking spaghetti and everything okay. was fucking great all right fucking great and my brother she fed us all spaghetti and she goes hey how was it and it really sucked and my brother said so well when uh -oh. he did she dumped this pot of spaghetti on his head. And while she did it, she stabbed herself in the hand with a knife. Wow. So she pulled the pot off of Brian's head, and while we're all tripping out, um, she had a knife in her hand. So she called the uh, hospital and says, oh, you know, I may have an accident. I got a knife in my hand. What do I do? And the guy says, pull it out. So she pulled the knife out of her bug, and then she wrapped her hand up and uh, hung up the phone. And about 10 minutes later, she finished cleaning up the spaghetti and acted like everything was normal. 
That definitely sounds like schizophrenia. Yeah, and I, and I, you know, the funny part was I kept eating my spaghetti. I knew I might not get none until tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you clean it up your hand, Mom. I'm going to take that meatball off my brother's lap. I'm going to eat that. <laughs> At that moment, that was the best damn spaghetti on the planet. So Amber gets on the wheel with the beautiful mom-dad story, and uh, that's awesome, sweetie. And great memories of your dad are the best. Yeah, thanks yeah. for calling in. That's great. Yeah. Love and you guys. Much love to you, too. Right, Good luck on the deal. Are you in? Oh, yeah. Did she win? I'm kind of stoned now. Are you smoking, or do you buy your products still, or are you just busy? I haven't. <laughs> I just signed up. Recently, but yeah. Do you smoke flour? Yes. Have you got any of our flour yet? Ask if I could. I just had surgery. I just had neck surgery, and my friend was going to ask, try to figure out if I could have, uh, if I could like use any of the CBD products because like I'm not supposed to do anything because it inhibits the bone growth. But I didn't know if people like some of the products that you guys have might not do that and no, you're, you're, well, I, I, I must ask when you say it inhibits the bone growth are you currently taking a medication that um creates bone growth no they all didn't right. give well then that doesn't that. make that yeah, doesn't the, make the the doctors it. don't know about alternative products if right. i what i take cbd every day because i know factually through my own experience and my own blood work that it is extremely good for your body Okay, right. and uh, the FDA won't let us say it, but the, the research is there. Now, other cannabinoids like uh, D9 and the things we sell and marijuana, well, the THCA flower, we don't sell the marijuana flower, but the THCA is very damn close. Those right. things, all those cannabinoids are good for you. Now, maybe smoking is not good for your lungs, you know, or whatever it might clog you up, but the cannabinoids that are in them have no uh, uh, negative effects. It's got to help. Something's got to help me with the inflammation because I'm oh, not allowed absolutely. to take um, anything for inflammation right now. Well, you know, that's, well, CBDs uh, will help, be certainly helpful. And I started using this uh, machine called the Beamer. Have you ever heard of it? No. Uh, and let, you know, you guys might have, have to have money because you got to buy one, but look at that up, B E M E R. And what it does is it increases your circulation. Now, okay. everybody knows, or not everybody, but if you <laughs> know a little or a lot, all cancer comes from, everything wrong with your body, it comes from dehydration and lack right. of circulation, right? And different kinds of inflammation. Yes, inflammation, exactly, Joe. And the, we're not doctors, we just slept at home last night. And anyway, <laughs> so I don't believe any of that can be harmful. We have people that reach out to us and say, you know, what should I do? I got cancer. This, and we, you know, we're not doctors. All I can tell you is that uh, with hepatitis C and all the kidney issues and liver issues, good high doses of CBD works. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And I will I say, yeah. I will say that um, topicals are absolutely valued. Um, the arthritis cream, if you have access to the ability to like put cream onto your neck. I think that you'll find that to be quite relieving and will absolutely help address the inflammation. Uh, awesome. there's, there's tons of amazing ingredients in there that really help for that. And while we aren't allowed to say CBD helps with inflammation, we are allowed to say that those other ingredients do because, you know, they're, they're regulated in such a way that we can say that. Now, do you have any ra rather that work for me than the pain medication or... Well, yeah, see, here's the thing. Yeah. You can listen. I'm a 63 years old, and I've been. De I got a, a, a artificial hip, a knee. You know, uh, my back in front. You know, I was an athlete. I kickboxed and wrestled in football. You right. know, and uh, so my body's in. You know, hurts. I drink my damn hard lemonade, or you take some cannabinoids. That's why there's different delivery systems, right? Okay. You like a D9 almond. Uh, uh, Delight is only 20 milligrams. You might be surprised how much relief you get out of just the 20 in the daytime. Like right. today, I drank this because I was hurting because this morning I'm, I'm trying to walk more and do all stuff to, you know, 
whatever, live long or whatever. Healthy or prosper and all that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, live well and prosper. Yeah. <laughs> Where you might just die fast and, and discover a new world. So, <laughs> I might go. To, I might just. I'm just preparing for my next, you know, life. You know. Right. Next adventure. I can't wait that parallel universe passes by. Yeah, that'd be cool. Right. <laughs> Life is short, so go to the next one. Yes. <laughs> so before we lose everybody here, we picked Gabriel from Sugarland, Texas. He's not here he tonight. Uh, I think it's he or she. I think it's her. Or he. All right. I think it's yeah. Amber, we love you. Thank you for joining. You're on the wheel. I hope you win something. Awesome. Thank you guys. All right. Peace yeah, out. Thanks for thank contributing. You. It was fun. All right. Bye. Bye.